Hey, hey, hey. Welcome to the Dot's Brain. It's Dottie. Hey, hey, hey. It's Sunday. I just want to say welcome to the Dot's Brain where you can get all, I mean all, of my content from just being alive. Number one, I'm alive. Thank you, God, for waking me up this morning. But my channel is geared on staying positive and uh, it's uh, geared towards uh, brain cancer survivorship. And just let you all know that just because we had brain cancer, we still here, baby. We surviving. We still biking. Actually, I'm biking right now. <laughs> um, it's just that my uh, brain cancer has metastasized. Uh, so it's not in my brain anymore. It's, uh, I had an MRI on um, last Sunday. And um, I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing pretty good uh no reoccurrence my doctor is amazing uh i'm at henry ford uh pavilion and detroit michigan i'm doing pretty good <laughs> so i feel really good um i'm gonna have a good week and you are too um i had another uh pet scan for my body where i'm taking chemo for it because i have you know the other tumors that has metastasized um so I still have to go through chemo. Uh, the PET scan went, went kind of wonky wonky, but it was some good news and not so good news, but hey, I'm still here and I'm, I'm praying for the best. I hope that you are praying for the best for me as well. We're gonna get through this. Life is a box of chocolate. You never know what you're gonna get. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the dot's brain um i was uh i go to church by phone with uh cassandra mac ministries and uh, she prays for me all the time um and i really would wish that all you all should uh go to her channel and listen to her on sunday by church she got some good nuggets. I really listen to her about everything. I got a lot of her stuff, books, journals, clothing. But yeah, um, one thing that uh, I have for you all today is to, it really, really is important to stay positive. Do not let anything, not anything, not, not uh, social media, not books, not people nothing get away from what you are trying to do we all have a purpose so live in it okay live in it live in it honey okay so that's that's what i wanted to say i mean i don't have a long strong out of nuggets any i mean at least not today um i'm healthy as a, i can be um I would encourage all my brain buddies, all my cancer survivors, all my people that are going through chemo such as I am to live, live every day. I mean, don't let what you are going through feel like you can't live because you can and we are, we are. There are times like right now, I feel like I wanna cry because I thought that I wasn't gonna get up this morning and go biking with my bikies. Um, yeah, they left me because they're faster than me. I'm the baby of the group, so I know they were gonna leave me. <laughs> um, but it's okay, they're here for me and I'm gonna catch up to them. Um, and I, I, I always start out like this in the beginning anyways, like from my bike season, I'm always getting left. <laughs> and I'm not, uh, I'm not afraid of being in, in the back because I ride my bike for health. I ride my bike for joy. I ride my bike because I like to ride bikes. I've always been active. So, you know, find something that you love. Don't let what you go through become who you are. That's what I want you to understand. Okay, cancer is not us. It may be in us, but it's not a part of us. So do know 
that the dots got you, God got us. You know what I did? If this helps you at all, I got a prayer closet in my house now. And I pray about everything because I can't do this without God, okay? So if you can't do anything, if you can't think about anything, get you a prayer closet and put and what i have on my and my prayer closet on my table within my prayer closet i have my wayne state school of social work um pendant i have my turtle that i love turtles it's not a real turtle but it's a turtle that i love um, because i love turtles it's so much significance with in turtles that people don't even understand like it's my favorite um i just love turtles and i love fish but turtle my turtle uh thing is on there um what else is on there uh all my uh um it's a whole lot of just stuff on there and my bible that's why it's my prayer closet so i think you all should get a prayer closet and just pray in there i pray every morning okay in my closet before i leave the house so maybe you should guys say check it out um so yeah this is the dots dotty everybody call me dotty the dots um i want you all to have a, an amazing day and an amazing week because we don't have days like this in michigan often <laughs> and so i said you know what mama cyclones is putting on the ride i'm getting out the house and i'm gonna go ride with my cyclones okay this is what i'm gonna do cyclones major taylor 313 baby okay we got a new kit i can't wait till it come and um i'm gonna be riding with them and until i can get my strength up to as fast as i used to be i'm gonna be uh riding and i'm not gonna quit okay don't let nothing break your soul nothing Okay, we here for a purpose. And if you don't know what your purpose is, you keep asking God for what your purpose is. Okay, you stay positive. Okay, it's very important because what I know is, and this is what I know, I didn't go to school for anything. I, didn't, I mean, I didn't go to school for nothing. I learned these things. I know these things. I learned these things. And I went to school for these things. And one thing is for sure, what you put in your mind and you don't even need to go to school for this. But I majored in social work. I got my master's degree in social work. My track is family systems. And I am a clinician. And I work with children. Okay. And what is very important to do is keeping what's in your mind is very important. And so if you tell yourself, I'm going to beat this cancer. I'm going to be healthy. And if you tell yourself, I'm going to put the good things in your body, then you will do that. And you will see positive reactions, okay? Don't let the devil take your mind anywhere else. Take God and leave God and lead God where you need him to lead you. You ask God. Like, God, I'm struggling with this, but I need you to heal me because you have a purpose for me and I need to be here on this earth. See me, I know my purpose and I'm working in it and I ain't going nowhere because I believe in this, okay? I don't care what these scans say because right now I'm doing good. So I'm out here, we out here. I'm out here. The dots out here. God got me out here. Okay. So I'm about to get on my bike. I had to take a break because I had to take a second and think like, hmm, Heinz Park is not my favorite park to ride. It's hilly. It's very hilly. And I don't like hills at all. I can do, I can ride anywhere in the, in the city. I mean, I'm a city girl. But I'm God's girl, God's uh, daughter first. So I'm going to get through this, through these hills, and I'm going to call it a day. And I'm going to say, thank you, God, for getting me through. <sighs> Praise the Lord. So at the end of the day, at the beginning of the day, and through the middle, you make sure you pray, 
you know your purpose and you say thank you god for getting me up um i have changed my diet i'm not gonna be eating any more red meat and no more chicken anymore so i've also started uh i have already been juicing anyways it's just i want a new juicer which is why i have my um uh, my uh gofundme still up so if there's one who has a heart and i know you do um could you still continue to donate to my gofundme which is uh I think it's Dor Dorothea the Miracle, or Daddy the Miracle. Yeah, that's my GoFundMe. I'll click it when I um, when I post this on YouTube because I'm making this on my phone. I'm going to keep it 100 with y'all. I'm not the most text heavy daddy. I'm not. My, my, my message is to make sure that I know to tell y'all the right thing at all times which is to stay positive because yes being having cancer it's hard it's hard there are times where i just lay in the bed and i cry but then i get over it i pray about it i read a book i go for a walk i get up and then i go to work and i go and see these children which is what i love my heartbeat my heartbeat okay and then i i may talk to my sister or you know or i talk to god a lot so when you know who you are and you can be honest about what you feel, you can be, you'll be all right. You'll be all right. I'm here for you and I'm keeping it 100 with you. I got to do two more rounds of chemotherapy. And I hear that's the, that's the hard part because I've already done four and I got to do two more. And then I got to repeat the scan to see what's going on. To see the good thing is i got some positive parts for you my some of my tumors have went down so they have decreased so yes god works not mysteriously but works in generally okay so this is the dots i love you i will see you soon god willing and he wills okay in jesus name on a Sunday. Have a great week. A great week. An awesome week. I love you all. Thanks for tuning in to the Dots Brain. And donate to my GoFundMe so I can get a juicer. I want an awesome juicer. Like a, 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 a juicer that cures my body juicer that type of juicer that that strengthening juicer okay that's the type of juicer that i want thank you so much for donating for all of you that have donated it helped me a whole lot it, it really did in fact i'm gonna keep it so 100 with me it kept me from not being homeless Yes, yes, yes. Because the devil tried to keep me from not being homeless. But I stayed and I'm living and I'm living in my home. And I'm doing great. And because it was not my fault at all. Nothing at all. I pay my bills all the time. But you know, when you're going through chemo and you're going through radiation and you're at the hospital all the time, sometimes you don't get, the, you don't get your mail. And sometimes you don't get emails because you're so focused on being healthy. And sometimes even when you're going through radiation and going through chemo, you're still going to work. And so you're, you, you, you still paying your bills, but then they rack up. So I was just going through so much at the same time that I said, Lord Jesus, please don't let me get put out. What should I do? Then I talked to my bikey buddy Marsha love her so much I just saw her earlier they, they didn't left me she said God makes a way when there's no way so stop crying and you're gonna be all right and then I you know it made a way so if there's any way in y'all heart could you help me get a juicer a good juicer I see the juicer that I want um, 
they say it's about six hundred dollars so if i could get six hundred dollars added to my gofundme that would be awesome i love you all so much with every beat of my heart daddy the miracle or dorothea the miracle the the, the tag will be in the uh bottom of my um video this is the dots brain you get a kiss and you get a kiss and you get a kiss and it's okay to be motiv e emotional you know what i told my doctor once he read my mri and i said i'm so appalled and so loved and so caring that sometimes i want to just take and rip my brain out i think i want to do that he said no daddy <laughs> I'm telling you not to do that because you wouldn't be who you are. You are emotional. And that's why we love you. So stay emotional. Be who you are. If you got to cry, cry it out and keep it moving. But don't never change who you are because that's what makes who you are. So stay positive. I said, all right, Dr. Walbert, I love you. I'm going to keep staying positive and I'm going to be emotional because that's who I am. And my brain is not going to change that. <laughs> I love you all. Have a great week. This is the Dots Brain and I am not my cancer. My cancer just is within me and I have changed my diet. And I love you all. Thanks for listening and have a great day brain cancer cancer inspired living life without i mean living life with cancer have a great day i'm about to keep riding my bike this is me on my bike here we go here we go here we go oh what the ball oh what the ball what the ball what the ball but i love you bye bye have a great week